if we could convince you of a few things, we would convince you that your vortex is real. We would convince you that you have easy access to it. But words don't teach. So what teaches is having a desire that is active in the moment and not beating up on yourself for wanting something that you don't have. Think about it. What is the balance that you're reaching for? So you want something that you don't have or you've got something that you don't want. So there you stand. That's what's going on. And it would be lunacy to say that it isn't true, to say that what you're observing isn't really happening. It's something that you are witnessing. You don't want to deny it. So many people would have so much trouble with you over you pretending that something that is isn't. But could you simultaneously acknowledge that where I stand has caused me to create something that is in the process of becoming? And I've decided that I'm going to move in the direction of the becoming of it. And what you're going to notice, there's been a lot of attention happening here in this room. You have been tracking with us in quite a remarkable way. We've been out on the very leading, leading, leading edge of the edgiest leading edge. And you've been tracking with us. So what that means is that your own experience is now going to validate the new pieces that clicked into place for you today. Because you knew it for a minute and just that much harmony or resonance with something that is in your vortex has changed your point of attraction enough that evidence will follow. And as you match that up, in the same way that you matched up what I did in this situation, so I'm going to do it again. As you match that up, oh yeah, I felt that click into place for me, and now here there is evidence of it. Before long, yes, you'll be asking for this and asking for that, and more and more of it will be coming. But you will be a deliberate creator who understands this. You're not ever going to get it done. So every day, there's going to be more of the chaos of life that's going to focus a new desire on your behalf. And then all that is source is going to focus on your creation with you. The question is, are you going to be a cooperative component to what you've set into motion? And the answer is, if I care about feeling good, yes. If I'm defensive or competitive or, or, or maybe not right now. So we'll say again, words don't teach, but life experience sure does. And you all are doing extremely well, but you are so ripe for confirmations all over the place. This is what we are eager about you all living, because we know you're picking up pieces along your trail and you're getting it and life is getting better. We know that for sure. And you're feeling more empowered. We know that for sure too. But when it really gets good is when you're on your way somewhere and you're not there yet but you don't need to be there in order to feel the satisfaction of moving in the direction of that. Because now that you're moving in the direction of it, you've stopped the resistance. And now there's no resistance, you've stopped the negative emotion. And you feel better. And the whole reason you wanted it to begin with was to feel better. So you're feeling better even though it hasn't happened and now you're queued up for the eternal life that you are living. Every time you know what you don't want, so you know what you do want, and you launch the rocket of desire, and the desire feels weird to you because you're more practiced in the absence of it than you are the presence of it, and then you find a way to line up with it and you feel better and better, and then you stand in the perfect place for receiving it, and you do. The manifestation happens, and with the manifestation also comes a new set of contrasting experiences of knowing what you don't want and knowing what you do want. So you line up again and it feels so good and then you're off again and off again and off again and this is our way of saying to you, you really gotta, you've really got to, you've really got
got to. You really want to. You've really got to. You really want to. Accept that it's never done. Accept that it's never going to be done. You're not striving for perfection that someone else is evaluating. You exist because you are creating. And creating is life. And you are the creation that you are creating. It's your state of being that you are creating. Everything that you gather, everything that you conjure, everything that you imagine, everything that you desire, everything that you create, whether it's a material object or a relationship or an empire or a pile of money or a piece of furniture or a piece of property or a relationship or every single thing that you create, you're doing it because of the feeling of being a creator. But you need an object of attention to create. You have to have something that you're focused upon to create. But the reason that you want something to focus upon to create is because it is so delicious to be a creator. And you'll never stop being that. 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 It's time for you to start enjoying your journey on your way to your never ending journey. <laughs> and sometimes that upsets people. Well, when will I get this done? Never. Well, I'd like to get it done because I'm tired. Well, that's because you've got resistance. It's the resistance that's making you tired. Without resistance, you're tireless, you see.